Okay, right. So standing hip with your standing with your feet hip distance apart. So it's not that far apart with your feet, and it's not that close together. Probably a few inches in the ball of your feet, and then your heels need to be about three inches and a bit wider. So just rocking backwards and forwards and make sure your feet are parallel. So the middle line of your middle toe to the middle of your ankle, that's parallel, not the inside of the feet or the outside. So just rocking forwards and backwards onto the heels, onto the balls of the feet, onto the heels, onto the balls of the feet. And then just make that rock smaller and smaller so that you feel all of the ground under the whole of the bottom of your feet. And lift your toes up and then spread them down onto the floor. And then rock over onto the left side and then rock right. So you feel the whole, feel the whole surface of the bottom of your feet. And then kind of do a circle going onto your toes, back to your heels and around. And then go the other way. And then come to rest in the middle. And again, lift those toes up, spread them, and put them down onto the ground. And then just soften those knees a bit, just bounce the knees and bounce the ankles, just so we become aware of all of our joints. And then drop the bum back and bounce in that hip. And then stretch yourself up tall, push those knees back, tighten the thighs, push the heels into the floor, and feel that the glutes engage. Feel your body lengthen, draw inside, draw in your, inner, your um, inner abdominal muscles, roll those shoulders back, put those hands on the thighs and just bend yourself forward. So you're bending forward but staying straight. So bending at this hip, keeping those legs straight. Just come to horizontal with the body and just lengthen your head so your tailbone pushing away from you. You can soften the knees if you, if you need to. So we push the tailbone and the pubic bone, sorry, the pubic bone down to the floor. The tailbone's coming up and we're pushing um, and lengthening through that pelvis and stretching through those glutes and keeping neutral in our spine. Bless you. Bless you. Then we can round our body down, slide the hands down the legs a bit and push the back up so we arch it. And just let those arms hang, let that head come loose. <coughs> and then roll the body all the way up to standing. Roll those shoulders back. And then doing circles with the arms all the way up to the sky, all the way around and down all the way up to the sky, all the way around and down. Nothing. All the way up to the sky, hold them up tall and push those arms up high to the ceiling and reach them back, looking up at your hands, reaching and stretching. And then bring those arms out wide, bring a chin into the chest and then just roll in one vertebra at a time, slowly down, put your hands on your legs, and let yourself come down as far as you can. Soften your knees and just let that head hang, let those, those arms hang, let the shoulders hang. And then push the right knee back and push the left knee back and push both knees back. And then rolling the body all the way up to standing. So this is what we do sitting. We sit up tall, we roll forwards, bring those shoulders back. Take the arms wide, bring them all the way up over the head, put the palms together, reach up nice and tall, and then lean those hands over to the right, over to the right. So we're reaching up, pushing this left hand away from the left foot, and then come back to center and reaching up right, take the right hand away from the right foot. Trying to keep it in one plane, come back to center, bring those arms out wide, take the chin into the chest and roll yourself down. And check those feet are still parallel. Lift the toes up as you go to the floor and then spread them on the ground. Let those knees come a bit soft. And then tip your tailbone up to the sky, lengthen your body, push your right knee back, push your left knee back. 
hands on the legs, roll yourself all the way back up to standing. Bring those arms out wide one more time, hands together. Push those arms both straight up into the sky. And then bring those hands back, pop the hands on the bottom. And then pushing, just pushing onto your bum, you're pushing your elbows back, pushing that chest forward, lifting those eyes up, breathing in, breathing out, pulling those shoulder blades together. Bring the hands down. See if you can hold your hands behind you by your bum. Hold, hold the hands together and then lift those arms up and open that chest, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Breathing in and breathing out. Release the arms. Let them hang down by your side. Bring your chin into your chest and you're going to roll all the way back down again. Roll all the way back down. Soften those knees. Pop the hands on the thighs and lift yourself up into this neutral, this L shape, which is how we sit when we sit on the floor. We sit in that L shape. Really push the tailbone to the sky, lengthen the lower back. And then push the head away from the tailbone. Feel the stretch in those hamstrings. Breathing in, breathing out, feeling that stretch. Roll yourself down, head down to your um, head, head down to the floor again, and then roll yourself all the way back up. Good, one first push of time. Okay, grab your chair. <laughs> grab your chair. We're going to sit on the chair. So we're just going to stretch, do a bit of a leg stretch, and uh, we can do this on the big Swiss ball, or you can do it sitting on the chair. So sitting on your chair like this. Put your right leg out straight. So your right leg goes straight out in front, slightly out to one side. And then we're going to turn the chest towards that right foot. Put the hands on the thigh and slide your hands down the leg. The leg is straight, the knee is locked. So we're rolling our hands down towards that foot. So pushing your tailbone away from you, trying to keep in your neutral spine position. So as you go forward, as you go forward, I'm keeping that straight back, that neutral. I'm not rounding and taking my nose down like this. I'm taking, trying to get my hip bone onto my thigh there. I'm pushing. So I go as far as I can just to feel the stretch in the back of that leg. Now point that toe, point that toe away, and then pull that toe up towards your face. So you feel the hamstring and then the calf, and then you point it away. So lift your chest up, push your chest forward, and pull that toe towards you, lengthening your body. Now take your right hand to the outside of this leg, and the left hand is also to the outside, so I turn towards the right. So I now feel the stretch through the hip of my left side, or the lower back more. My chest too high. Put your foot on a stool if it's too high. And then come back to the centre. And then walk your hands around towards the right, the left hand side. And actually, if you slide that leg out, slide that leg out towards the right, you feel the stretch on the inner thigh of this leg. And if you, if you want to move the right, the left leg away and you want to lower the tummy down further, you'll get more of a stretch on that inner thigh. <clears throat> and then bring yourself back up to sitting. And now we're going to stretch the other leg. So put the left leg out straight. So I take my sit up nice and tall, turn my breastbone around towards that foot <clears throat> and slide my hands down this leg. So trying to keep in neutral, push that tailbone behind you. Put your hands on the floor if you want to either side or keep them resting on your calf. Or if you have something else, you can put, a, put your hands on a stool or a coffee table if it feels too far down to the floor. Good, point, point, the, toes, point the toes on that foot. And then flex the foot. 
and then point the toe. And then flex the foot. You all right, Anne? Mm -hmm. You okay? Yes, fine. Okay, and then walk the hands to the outside of this leg. So I've got my left hand going to the outside and I can use something to hold on to if I want or put the hand on the floor. And then the right hand, the other side of my um, ankle, pushing and turning myself to the left. And you feel the stretch in that lower back. And then come back to center. Uh, sorry, come back now, walk the hands around to the inside of that, round to the right, slide this left leg away and feel that stretch on that inner thigh. Oh, her chair is sliding away, I don't know about the leg. Yes, so is mine. <laughs> <laughs> and then bring yourself back round and sit yourself back up. Ooh. Got some equipment breakdown. <laughs> okay, so sitting on the chair. So now I want you to bring your take hold of your right foot and you're going to put your right foot on your left knee. Oh, yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> okay, straighten that leg, straighten the left foot away. So the leg's um, straight, so the foot's lower. So what I want you to do is your hips are horizontal and you lift, you're lifting that foot. So this is, this is a big one. Oh, my head doesn't like that at all. But hang on, this is a big one for riding, Sarah. So keep that leg. So keep the, yeah, the leg. Remember, I've got a ceramic hip. Doesn't always bend where it should. Oh, okay. No, for sure. Can you have you got a stool or a poof or something? No. You can put your so put your legs straight. Like this leg is straight, and I'm yeah. it so the foot's lower. Yeah. Okay, that's better. Okay. So have it lower. So we don't want to have the knees too high. Don't want your hips twisting. I want it so that the knee is, so just put, pop it there and then just gradually bring that leg up until you feel a stretch in the bum here, in the hip. Yeah. Okay, so don't go extreme, just hold it there. Now I want you to put, take your hand on this knee and push that knee down. Just take it into a stretch, don't go crazy. So this stretching should be, if 10 is extreme, zero is nothing, we're only on four or five. Okay, so you feel the stretch. So you lengthen the leg, the left leg away if it feels too much. So you hold that stretch. Now I want you to push this leg up into this hand. Pushing that leg up into that hand. And just feel, just as a 20% contraction. So go as hard as you can, and then cut that in half and cut it in half again. So it's not a massive contraction. Hold it there for 20 seconds. You all right, Sarah? Yeah, just about. <laughs> and then you release this, release the push up and stretch that knee down a bit. So we're trying to stretch the glute medius, the piriformis, and these are the muscles that pull your knee inwards <clears throat> and create a lack of balance because your knee becomes unstable because your glutes can't work. So now push that knee up into the hand again. Good. And then breathing in on the out breath, release the push and then push down with the hand onto that knee and stretch, feel it through, feel it all through that hip area. And then release, take that foot off the knee, lengthen that leg out straight, wobble it from side to side, loosen it up a bit. And then straighten this right leg, Put that left leg on the left foot on the right leg. Slowly pull that right leg up a bit. So this side on my leg, you'll notice is higher. I, not, I'm much tighter on this side. But hold this leg, hold this foot in its um, or, or have that knee in the position so that you're comfortable, and then push that knee down with this hand. Hold it in the stretch, and now push that the knee up against the resistance of your hand. Good, breathing. Keep yourself nice and tall. And then release the push and push down with the hand. Is that easier on this side, Sarah? Yeah, I've only got an artificial hip on one side. 
Okay, push the knee up into the hand. And then breathing in on the out breath, release and push down and stretch, lengthen the body. And then release. Take, take that leg off and let that leg go. And then just sitting with your legs at stretch. Lean your body. I'm not sure this chair I'm on particularly safe for doing this actually. Lean your body forwards so that you, you might need to put your hands. Can you lean your body forwards and feel the stretch on the inner thighs here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 And then walk your hands round towards the right leg and feel the stretch on the right side. Ooh. Or rather, when you go right, you feel it on the left. And then walk the hands round to the left leg and feel a stretch on the right. Yeah. <laughs> and then bring the hands back to the middle and then bring your legs back in. And sit yourself back up. So this is... It's all the same sort of stuff. We're just doing it a slightly different way. Okay, sit sideways on the chair. And I want you to slide. So I've got my, I'm facing the left. And I've got my left buttock on the chair. And my right leg is hanging up. And I want you just to sit up tall with your seat bones and slide this right leg backwards. Roll those shoulders up to the ears, back and down. And then I'm just going to hold this leg in this position and I'm going to tuck the pubic bone forward and feel the stretch through the front of this leg, through the front of this hip, through the front of this thigh. So lengthening the body up tall. Feel that. Take the right hand up to the sky and then push that right arm all the way up to the ceiling and push it over the head towards the towards the kind of pelvis, Reaching, stretching through that hip. So take your arm over your head a bit, Jane. It's going over, so you're stretching down that right-hand side. Yeah. 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 That's it. And then release. And then come back to centre. So I'll do this one front on so you can see. Come back to centre. So I sit up nice and tall, change sides. Sit up nice and tall. Drop your, so Jane, you should be sideways on the chair. And then leave the chair. Oh. <laughs> so, just sit, sit. so I've got a triangle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've got to sit with your bum, so your left leg's hanging off. Sit up tall, slide that left leg behind you. So I'm perched just on my right bum on the chair. Press that right leg back, tuck my bottom under and feel the stretch through the front of this leg. So if you've got sore knees, this is a really good way of stretching the quads out without kneeling. Bring that left arm up over the head. Good, breathing in. On the out breath, reach that arm up and push that knee down and back. Reach that arm up and over. And then release and sit yourself up nice and tall. Good. Okay. Sitting on your chair. I'm just going to turn this sideways so I've got a straight edge. Right. So sitting up tall on your chair. Slump backwards on your tailbone. And sit up tall onto your front bottom. Slump back on your tailbone. Sitting up tall onto your front bottom. So slumping back. Slide those hands forward down the legs and feel that stretch all the way through your back. And then sitting up nice and tall. Arching your tummy forward, pushing those shoulders back. Bring those hands onto the chair behind you. And really push, lift up to the ceiling with the chest, breathing in. And then come down to rest in on that middle bottom. Where your, where your pelvis is vertical, neutral spine, roll those shoulders back and down, put a hand on each leg. 
Right, hands are out to the side of each leg and pull those knees outward into your hands. So you feel your bum engage and release. Hold the hands here, pull out sideways, feel the bum engage and release. Hold the hands here, pull the, hand, pull the knees into the hands, feel the bum engage. Keeping the, keeping the hands here, push through the left foot and lift the right leg up without twisting the body. So you keep the pelvis in neutral, spine stays straight, keeping the hands here, lift that right leg up without twisting the body. And lower, so you're not allowed to sink backwards. Nothing changes, but both feet back on the ground, roll the shoulders back and down, put the hands here, pull, pull the knees outwards and lift that right leg up and tap that right leg down. Lift that right leg up, tap that right leg down. Keeping tall, so this is walking. Lift the right leg up, put it down. Now leave the right leg on the floor and lift the left leg up and put it down. Keeping the pelvis vertical. Lift that left knee up, push that left knee down. So having your hands here means you keep the glutes engaged. Lift that left leg up, pull it down. Right, now take those hands away and put them on your hips. Roll your shoulders up to the ears, back and down. Push through the floor with the heels. You're gonna push on the left leg and lift the right leg up without, without pushing out on your hands. So you're not sinking backwards. Put that right leg down. So you're gonna pull the knees apart to engage the glutes. Push this heel through the floor so the glute and the thigh engage and then lift that left, sorry, the right leg up. And then try and straighten that right leg out. And bend it and put it down. Push through the same heel, lift the right leg up, straighten it, bend it and put it down. Reaching up tall with your head, lift the right leg up, straighten it. Bend it, put it down. Okay, the other side. Push that right leg, right heel. So I lift my toes slightly off the floor of that foot to um, embed it that I'm pushing the heel through the floor. Lift the left knee up, put, put the left knee down. Sit up tall. Lift the left knee up, put that left knee down. Lift that left knee up, straighten that left leg. Bend that left leg, put it back down. Lift that left knee up, straighten that leg, don't roll backwards. Bend that knee, put it down. Reaching up with the head, lift that left knee up, straighten, bend, and put it down. Good, okay, relax your hands. Right, so getting up out of the chair. Heels into the floor. We tip the body forward. This is a squat, but it's also a practical movement. Pushing, leaning the body forward, pushing on those heels. So I'll do it sideways on the side. I want you all to come onto the front edge of your chair, pushing the heels into the floor. We're going to bend forward onto the front bottom. I'm just going to push those heels into the ground and feel the bum engage. So put your hands on your bottom. As you roll, as you go forward and push into the heel, can you feel your bum gets tight? And then you come back and it becomes soft again. Roll forward, pushing those heels down, the bum engages. And then rolling back again. So Max, bend from the hip, the, part the leg. Bending forward, so, and coming up right. So I don't want bend, not bending from the waist like that, because then your bum does nothing changes here. You're going to be up tall, you've got to bend from this hip where the leg, where the leg goes in. So we're bending forward, sticking the, the bum out behind, chest up and long, pushing through those heels. Coming back. And we're going to go forward, holding here, holding forward, and we stand up. Yes, right, so no knees knocking in. So we're going to sit back down, bum goes back. And we rest. This is where you're lucky you've got a high chair, Mum. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sort of <laughs> so bend forwards, push your arms forwards to help you. 
And you're going to squeeze with the bum and push up. Keep those knees apart, Max. Good. Weight on both feet, Anne. And then bend the knees and touch the bum on the chair and sit down. Ooh. Keep that chest open. Bending forwards. Standing up. So this is what this is what we've got to be practical with Pilates. And then sitting down, because these are the reasons we do it. To be able to bend and stretch and stand up properly. Reach the arms forward, bend at the hip, clench the bum, pull the knees apart, stand up, knees apart, Jane. Good. And then down again. Good. Okay. Bending forward, standing up again. Okay. Turning sideways onto your chair. Right, turning sideways onto the chair. So, looking down at the feet, use the back of the chair as a, as a sort of stabiliser. Yeah. Okay, good. Right, so looking down at your feet, check that the middle of your feet are parallel. Pull those knees apart. Let them roll together. So this is the clam. So if I stand sideways onto you, I'll stand here so my fingers are on the chair. So that's me straight. So I'm going to bend, bend at my leg joint so that my spine is straight. I'm going to pull those knees outwards. Let them roll together. Pull them out. Let them roll together. So I pull them out. Let them roll in. Pull them out, and you'll notice as you pull them out, you go onto the outside of your feet. Let them roll in. Pull them out. So have them out, but now make those feet go flat on the floor so that you're actually turning at the ankle joint rather than tipping the feet over. Roll the knees in. Pull the knees apart. So let the ankle rotate. Pull the knees in. Pull the knees out. So the big toe stays on the floor. Pull the knees out. Hold them here. Now, holding them like that, pull the, clench the bum and stand up straight, but you're keeping the thighs rotated out. So clench your bum. So I've gone from here. I clench here and push into my hip flexors like that. And I pull my knees apart. So this is like the bridge exercise when we're on the floor. <clears throat> we clench with the bum, push forward or the plank. Push forward into the, so straighten your knees, Anne. Clench your bum and push your body, your head up to the sky. So my bum's clenched and then my tummy engages. Now I'm going to bend from here. So my knees have to stay where they are, as in stay pointing forward, bend from here. Pull those knees out, pull them together. Pull them out. Clench with the bum, keep those thighs rolled out. Big toe on the ground and stand up tall. Right, bend forward at the hip a little bit, keeping those knees out, rest your fingers on the chair, and you're gonna stand, I'm gonna stand on my right leg without moving any of my body. So my pelvis stays vertical, leg stays straight. So when you stand, I don't wanna see the knee roll in, the body twisting round. So standing tall, bend forward at the hip here, lengthen the body, pull that knee outward, Press the fingers on the chair, engage. So the bum is the glute muscles, the bum muscle. So chest up, and Chest up, eyes up. The bum muscle is what supports you. So my left foot's off the floor. So now I'm going to clench my left bum and stand up straight and lock that knee, but keep that knee outwards. And then I'm going to lower my bum backwards. Lower my bum back and stand myself up tall. And lower my bum back. Good. So you're bending at the hip and the knee naturally bends too. Stand up tall. So lengthen the body. Get that Pilates neutral spine. Lower the bum back. Lengthen up tall. So this is bridging. We drop our bum to the floor. So we lower the bum back. We clench with the bum and we stand up tall. Good. Let's do two more. Lower the bum back. Bending forward, so yeah, don't go forward with your knee, Max. Clench with the bum and stand up tall. Drop the bum back. 
clench and stand up tall. Okay, change mum. Can you go sideways on? So face the chair so I can see your action a bit better. That's better. Right, now standing on both feet again. So wiggle those legs, let them just get a bit of flow. Yeah, we're going to do the other leg. So you can change the chair around if you want or not. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so again, bending at the leg joint, pull those knees apart, let them roll together. Pull them apart. Make sure the big toe stays on the floor, roll them together. Pull them apart, roll them together. Pull them apart, keep them here, and take that right foot off the ground. Clench with the bum and push up into that hip flexor. <clears throat> Dropping that bum backwards. So if I go sideways onto you, I drop my bum back, get that leg out of the way. I pull my, set my hip up. I drop my bum back. My knee stays where it is on the, uh, in air. I squeeze and push. So my knee stays above my ankle. I drop my bum back. I squeeze and lift. Drop my bum back. Squeeze and lift. Good. Okay, four more. Drop the bum back. Squeeze and lift. I'm trying to get my leg out of the way so you can see. Drop the bum back. Squeeze and lift. Two more. So drop the bum back, Jay. Bending at the hip. Bend at your hip. Lower your bottom to the floor more. And squeeze and lift. Right now, not taking your chest down. I'm moving, I'm moving because imagine you've been punched in the gut here and you sink backwards from it. That's the, that's the direct, that's the action. Your bum goes back and then your bum comes forward. You've been hit here in the groin, bum goes back and come, come back up again. Jane, you've got to bend, let your knee bend. So you let this knee, so you're kind of waving around like this. You've got to let this knee bend as if you're sitting on the toilet on one leg. Yeah, there you go. And then stand back up. Good. But, but, it, but you don't let the knee move forward. So you bend the bum back, but the knee stays above the foot. And then come back up. Okay, standing here, just shake those legs. <clears throat> so that's how the leg has to stabilise itself. So when we're walking, we've got to turn those knees out, hold those, hold those legs stable, engaging from the glutes. So it's the bridge. So walking is this exercise. It's the tummy and the plank. It's the uh, one where we lie on the floor and we lift the legs up behind us. So standing up with the feet parallel, drop the bum back, pull the knees apart, standing on one leg. Push the hips forward, and then I'm going to step forward onto this leg. So I have to go onto tiptoe on the leg behind. So first of all, we can just go up onto tiptoe and down. Up onto tiptoe and down. Up onto tiptoe and down. Without letting the knee, without letting this knee roll around, I pulled it out. I'm supporting it with the glutes. Go up onto tiptoe and down. Up onto tiptoe and down. Go up onto tiptoe, and then you're going to step forward onto the other leg, keeping that knee wide. Don't let the knee roll in. And then come back. So on the right leg, we're going to go up onto tiptoe, step forward onto the left leg, and let it bend. Good. And come back. So we pull the knees apart. Stand on the right leg, tense the bum and engage, push forward into this hip, up onto tiptoe, and then we step. And then we would repeat the cycle by, we're now bent here, so we stand on that leg, push up, up onto tiptoe, and step forward. So we're just going to do one at a time, so I'm just showing you how it all looks. Okay, let's do the other leg. So feet, feet are parallel, bending forward at the hip, drop the bum back, 
Pull the knees apart, rest the fingers on the chest. On the chest. Stand on this left leg, clench through the bum and straighten that leg. Go up onto tiptoe and down. Clenching with the bum, supporting that leg. Up onto tiptoe and down. Up onto tiptoe and down. Up onto tiptoe and then swing this right leg forward and stand. Good. So go back. So we're going to pull the knees apart, drop the bum back, stand on the left leg, clenching with the bum, come up onto tiptoe, step forwards onto that right leg. If I do it sideways onto you, I'm going to bend forward, pull the knees apart, stand on one leg. Stand up straight, clench the bum, push into the hip flexors. Go up onto tiptoe and then land on this leg. So I'm staying my neutral spine. So this is where the back has problems uh, in running and walking when we are moving the pelvis like this. So if we haven't got extension here in this uh, hip flexor, <laughs> then we aren't able to, we will be rotating the pelvis. So, and that will cause back pain, lower back pain. So this is how the Pilates becomes biomechanics, becomes walking and more functionally and functioning correctly. So the whole thing is that the pelvis stays in line with the spine and the break is at the leg, not at the waist. Okay, so standing up tall. If you can turn those thighs out by clenching the bum with the legs straight, that's great. So you clench the bum, turn the thighs out, keep the knee, uh, keep the knee straight, keep the big toe on the ground. Put the weight on the right leg, go up onto tiptoe, and then we step forwards, giving stretch in this back leg, pulling this front knee apart. We then have to tilt the pelvis, we've got to get in our head, our body weight over the front foot in order to be able to not lift the back leg and not fall over. Then we stand up straight, go up onto tiptoe, step forwards and do the whole thing again. <laughs> so, the exercise, so the action when you speed it up is step, clench, push. Stepped onto that foot, clench, push. Which is when we lie on the floor and we're doing that exercise, it's exactly that. You step forward, clench, and go back. So just stand sideways onto your stand next to your chair. So looking down at the feet, make sure they're parallel. Clench the bum, turn those thighs out. <laughs> Roll those shoulders up to the ears, back and down, lengthen the body. And we can so we can do the floor exercise here, standing up tall. Take those arms behind and release, behind, release, behind, release, behind, release. Feel that chest open. Bring those arms up, bring them horizontal, go right? backwards, backwards, backwards. Take them higher, going back, bring them back down, back, back, keeping the body straight, back. Back, then rest those fingers on the chair so we've got the feeling of that chest open. Turn those thighs out and open the, open up this uh, pelvic area. Standing on that right leg, clenching with the bum. Left leg, just take it back. Take it back, lengthening the body. Hand on the hip, make sure your hip isn't, make sure you're not doing this at your waist. <clears throat> you stay strong, leg goes back. Tummy engages, squeeze with the bum. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. One more. Pop that foot on the floor. Pull the legs apart, roll those shoulders back. Hold on to the hands behind you. Open your chest. Open that chest. Take that chin up. Bring those eyes horizontal. Rest the fingers on the chair. Take the weight on the left leg and take the right leg back, 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 
back, back, back, back. So we're doing the clam, static clam on the left leg, and the right leg is doing what's called the swimming exercise, the legs going back. Okay, now bring that right leg forward, go up onto tiptoe on the left foot, stand on the right leg. Now you're going to put the weight on the right foot, stand up, clench with the bum, and push forward. Yeah, you can let go of the chair, Jane. Have a, so try to adopt all of this stuff into your walking so that we start to be taller. So you think of a catwalk model, they're tall, they lead with their crutch. The leg goes on the floor and they push into their hip flexors, but they're not, they're not waddling. The hip, the hip shouldn't sway from side to side and it shouldn't tilt like that. It should stay as they walk forward. Your pelvis stays parallel to the, or at 90 degrees to the direction you're walking in. So go, for, come forward uh, for a bit. Give yourself space behind you. So roll those shoulders up to the ears, back and down. Take the arms out wide, pulse them back. Two, three, four, five. Let those hands hang by your side. Stand on the right leg, turn that knee outwards and step backwards on that left foot and feel your bum engage. Keeping the front of the body straight, palms are forwards, standing back onto that, that left leg. And then step the right leg back without letting the pelvis twist. So you have to clench the bum, bend the knee to go back. So you might wiggle a bit just because you're not used to it, but I want you to feel the bum working. Step back, clench, clench the bum. And as you clench with the bum to pull back, you have to engage the tummy muscles. You have to lift up tall, which is all the planking and stuff that we do. Okay. All right. Move your chair out of the way, grab your mat, and let's have a bit of a release so it's not all hard work. We'll do a bit of planking instead, how's that sound? Oh, you've all gone quiet. <laughs> it was quite nice standing up. <laughs> okay, come on to your mat on all fours. Oh dear. Okay, come on your mats on all fours. So put your hands under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. Middle fingers are parallel. Roll the inside of the elbows forward. Turn the tailbone down to the floor and push that middle of that back up to the sky and the eyes to the knees. And then turn the tailbone up to the sky and bring the tummy bottom down and bring the eyes to the sky. And lengthen. And one more tailbone down, back up, eyes to the knees. So this is what we do in the roll down when we're standing up. And then tailbone up, eyes to the sky. And we did, did it sitting on the chair and standing. Lengthening the body. Now come into neutral, so push that tailbone away, make the pelvis parallel to the floor. And take the right ear to the left, to the right hip. You're bending, stretching that left side, compressing the right. And then take the left ear to the left hip and stretch. And come back to horizontal, rolling those shoulders up to the ears, back and down, gliding backwards. So you're stretching in that hip and coming back up onto all fours. And gliding back, keeping neutral spine, not child pose, keep the tailbone up to the sky, keep your back straight, soften the elbows, and then squeeze with the bum and lift yourself up. And then gliding back, putting the knees apart on the floor, soft elbows, lengthen the head from the tailbone, and then lifting yourself back up, hold yourself on all fours, Slide that right leg out behind you straight. Bring that knee into the elbow. So this is bringing our knee up high. Take that leg out horizontal. So this is what we were doing standing up, clench the bum. 
Pull the knee into the elbow. Take that leg out straight, clench the bum. Bring the knee into the elbow. Take the leg out straight, clench the bum. Lengthen the body. Bring that leg up above your above up above horizontal. Bring it up. One, two, clench and lift. Three, four, five. Then we can bend the knee. And we can challenge it further. Push the foot to the sky. One, don't bend at the waist. Two, three, four, five. Swing that knee underneath you. Pulling the left knee out on the mat, take the right knee out to the side. Bring it back in, get the bum working. Out and back, out and back, out and back. And take your chest down, so take your breastbone towards your fingers, back of your head up. Good, one more. And then rest that knee on the floor. So roll those out inside of the elbows forward, push the chest down to the ground and bring the eyes up to your tailbone up to the sky. Go the other way, Anne. Tailbone up to the sky, yeah. Really pushing the breastbone forward towards the fingers, taking your chin up away from the floor. Good. So Anne, that's almost neutral spine, what you're in. You're, you've, got a, you've got quite a tight upper back. Turn the tailbone down, bring the eyes to the knees, push the back up. Turn the tailbone up, eyes up, tummy down, breastbone forward, and then find neutral. So don't release too much of your back there, Anne. Hold like that. Pull the knees apart on the mat and rest on that right leg. Extend the left leg out straight and bring it back. Extend it out straight. Bring the knee to the elbow. Take it out straight to horizontal, clenching with the bum. Knee to the elbow, good. And don't lose your upper back. Left leg out straight, knee to the elbow. Leg out straight, clenching with the bum, knee to the elbow. Out straight, hold it here, and lift that leg up behind you. Five, four, three, two, one. Bend that knee, push the foot high, five, four, three, two, one. Swing the leg underneath you, take it out to the side, five, lengthen the body, four, chest down, head up and three, two, and Sarah, one, rest the knee on the mat, slide the body back. Slide the body back in neutral, bending at the hip, keep the chest up, sorry, the chest open, chest forward, release those hands, release those hands, breathing in on the out breath, coming back up onto all fours, walk those knees forwards, sitting on the ground, sitting on the ground, hold behind your thighs, and pull yourself up nice and tall. Roll your shoulders back and down. Rest those legs back on the floor. Hands on the thighs. Roll yourself forward. Stretch through that back. Sit up nice and tall. Pop those hands, uh, have your elbows shoulder height. Let your arms just swing. <laughs> Bring those arms behind you and then put the fingers on the floor. Yeah, fingers on the floor. So your chest is forward. Rest your hands on the floor, keeping your chest in front of your shoulders. Yeah, opening those shoulders up. Good. Breathing in. On the out breath, push those arms straight and push that chest forward. Good. So we're opening that chest. And then soften the elbows. So we release a bit with the shoulders, breathing in. On the out breath, push those arms straight, opening that chest. So we did this standing up, pulling the arms backwards, and then release. And again, breathing in on the out breath, push that chest up, hold yourself here. Now clench your knees, or tighten your thighs, and push the knees into the floor and lift the heels up off the ground. And release. 
Tighten the thighs, get your chest up, Jane. Tighten the thighs, let the heels lift. Drawing in the core, pushing the head away from the pubic bone. And release. Tighten the thighs. Now clenching the bum. Push the heels down and lift your hips up. Can we do this one? Lower. And then lower. So that is what we did standing. All the standing stuff we were doing is getting the bum to push forward. So we're moving the body forward. So we stand up tall, shoulders back, clench with the bum, push the feet in the floor, lift. So we take the body over the feet. Come on, two more. Shoulders back, push your chest up, breathing in, breathing out, lift. Good, and lower. And one more, keep the shoulders back, breathing in. Breathing out, and lift, and lower. Now push yourself off your fingers, stretch through those hands, hands on your legs, roll yourself forward, reaching through that, reaching through, stretching the arms, stretching the back, lift yourself up nice and tall, nice and tall and straight, bring those hands to horizontal, breathing in, on the out breath, lower the back to the floor, one vertebra at a time. All the way down to the ground. Bring those arms all the way over your head. Pushing your fingers away from your toes, let your tummy lift up. Bring those hands up to the sky. Chin into the chest, roll yourself slowly all the way back up. Up to vertical, arms stay, vertic uh, arms stay horizontal. Breathing in. On the out breath, rolling down, one vertebra at a time, curling. Yeah, try not to use the rope, Mom. Push your hands forward on the lowering down. Push your hands forward, use those tummy muscles. Oh, God. Good. Bring the arms over the head. Reach those fingers away from the toes, reaching, reaching, reaching. Bring those hands up to the sky. Okay, you can grab your rope on the way up. Tune into the chest, push forward. Push forward, sit yourself up vertical. Vertical. Glide yourself forward onto the front bottom. Sit yourself up tall and glide yourself back. It's up tall, glide yourself forward. Eyes up, chest up, glide yourself back. Slide yourself forward. Slide yourself back. Now roll yourself down to the floor. Don't use your rope, Mum. Don't use it. One but push your hands towards the sofa, push your head up, roll yourself down. Take the arms over the head, reaching. Keeping your body here, bring your right knee in. Bring your arms up and pull that right knee in towards your armpit. Breathing in and breathing out. Pull this right knee over your body and pushing that right arm away. Turn your eyes to the right, breathing in, breathing out. Letting that back release. Stretching, pushing the hand away from the knee. And then just rolling over onto this left hand side, take hold of that right foot behind you and just pull it backwards. Remembering to keep your neutral spine, keep your core engaged, and release that shoulder, push the foot and the hand away behind you, pushing them away. And then release and roll yourself back onto your back and pull that knee back in towards your armpit. Pulling that knee back in. Let that leg go and let it go out straight and pull the other knee in. The knee in towards the armpit. Breathing in on the out breath, pull that leg all the way over your body. Pushing it down to the floor, pushing that left hand away. Turning the eyes to the left, breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. 
Roll yourself over onto the right hand side. Support your head with the underneath arm. Take that foot in your hand. Breathing in and on the out breath, push that foot and the hand behind you. Let them go out straight. Breathing in. Breathing out. And then release. Roll back onto your back. Bring that knee back in towards your armpit. Lengthen the leg away. Now bring both knees in towards your chest. Keep those knees apart and pull them up towards the armpits. Lift the tailbone off the ground. And then roll and push the tailbone into the ground. Lengthen the head, roll the shoulders up to the ears, back and down. Lift the lower back and pull those knees apart sideways. Stretch the right leg straight. Stretch the left leg straight. Reach those toes away from the pubic bone. Lengthen the body. Breathing in and then bring those legs up together. And then take those legs apart. On the out breath, bring them together. On the in breath, ease them apart. Have your hands on the inside. Let the right leg bend, let the left leg bend. Keep those shoulders back and down. Pull the knees up towards the armpits. And then pull those knees back together. Breathing in. On the out breath, put the feet on the floor. Pop those hands on the floor, beside, uh, palms down beside your bum. Roll the shoulders up to the ears, down and back, keeping the knees bent. Breathing in. Lift the, the toes off the floor. Breathe out. Clench the bum. And lift your bum all the way up the ground into that bridge. So again, squeezing with the bum, lifting the body forward over the knee. Lowering the body one vertebra at a time. Keep those shoulders back and down. Breathing in at the bottom, arch the back. Breathing out, round the back, push the heels in the floor, clench the bum and lift. Holding yourself high, push the fingers down towards the heels. Lower that back one vertebra at a time down to the ground, arch the back at the bottom. Breathing in. On the out breath, round the body into the floor, push the heels down, lifting. Pushing those fingers down towards the feet. Breathing in on the out breath, lowering the body down to the ground. Arch the back at the bottom. And then rolling and lifting all the way back up. Lifting, clenching, holding. Hold it up here. Bring the arms all the way over the head. And then lower that body all the way down to the floor. Bring those arms back down by your side. Put the right leg out straight. Put the left leg out straight. Chin into the chest, rolling yourself all the way up to sitting. Reaching forward with those, to those feet. Soften the knees. Breathing in. Breathing out, sit yourself up nice and tall. Pop the hands on the floor in fists next to your bum. Roll the shoulders up to the ears back and down. Lift yourself vertically up. Pushing as if you're shrugging your shoulders or pushing yourself out of the swimming pool. And then lower onto your middle bottom. Take those arms out wide. All the way up to the sky, put the palms together. Push up nice and tall. Drawing in the core, tighten the thighs, push the legs down, bring the toes to your nose. Lift the breastbone up high, release the feet, release the arms. Let your hands come down, rest them on your legs and roll your shoulders. Well done.